Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful newborn flower nest that you can use as a photo prop. The supplies you're going to need for this are 180 gram crepe paper rolls. You also need a flat 12 inch foam circle. You can find these at craft stores. You also want to get like a foam poster board and cut a 16 inch circle from that. You'll need a glue gun, scissors, the templates which are completely free on my blog. The link is below and you'll also want a muslin cloth and one cute baby to put in the middle. I do not use my cutting machine for this project because all these petals are so large that cutting the petals by hand is actually faster than using a cutting machine. Um, everybody's petal count is going to vary a little bit, but I use roughly 60 extra large petals and 50 large petals to complete this look that you're seeing here in the photo. So um, let's get our supplies together and I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful photo prop. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is cut all of our petals out, of course, and I've already cut my template out on cardstock paper, um, so I just printed it out and cut it out by hand. And um, I'm taking my crepe paper here and I'm folding it in half so that it's um, folded over once, and then I'm placing my template on top of it. This is going to allow me to cut two petals at one time by folding the paper in half. So I'm just using my scissors here and I'm just basically holding the template on top of the crepe paper and then just trimming around the template um, to shape it out to be that, that um, in the shape of the template. Um, and then by doing it this way, you're able to cut two petals at once and it makes the process go a little bit faster. If you were to be doing this with a cutting machine, you'd be loading each piece individually and it would actually take a lot longer than doing this by hand. Usually I do love to use my Cricut machine, but for this particular project, um, I am using scissors because it does make it go just a little bit faster, which is of course always what we want, the fastest option um, to get us to our end goal. So just make sure you get all your petals cut out and um, then you're also going to want to take the at the bottom of the petal, you're also going to want to cut about a inch and a half to two inch slit at the bottom and um, then you add a little glue to one side and just generously overlap it. Um, crepe paper has stretch to it so you can be pretty generous with the overlap because the next step is going to be to basically stretch the paper. You want to work from the center, don't pull at the ends, work at the center and sort of cup the center with your thumbs and then you can also take the bottom of the petal and sort of roll it a little bit inwards to kind of create that nice cupped um, petal shape that will stand up once we glue it to the base of our flower. So here I have my 12 inch um, foam piece and my 16 inch foam piece that I've cut from a foam poster board and we're going to be layering these two together with a smaller one on top of course. Um, so these are going to act as our base and it's just going to give us a lot of support for this entire prop that we're going to be putting together here. So I have my uh, foam board piece here, it's my 16 inch circle that I cut out and it's not a perfect circle because I cut it by hand with my X-Acto knife, but um, just a rough circle is fine. And you're of course going to start with your extra large petals around the outer rim of that circle first and then we'll, of course we'll progress in um, to the center of the circle and using the large petals after we complete using all of the extra large petals as well. Um, I'm getting all my glue sticks out here, just taking a second here, but make sure you have lots of glue on hand. Um, this project takes a lot of glue. Um, I was kind of astounded at how much glue I needed. I honestly couldn't tell you exactly how many glue sticks I used, but just make sure you have plenty on hand because you'll go through it faster than you think. Um, so your 12 inch round foam piece, I want you to place that on top of the 16 inch piece because you want to use it as sort of a guide as to where you're wanting to place these petals. That way they're placed evenly around the circle and you're not kind of getting it um, to where the, the petals aren't as even with each other as you're working around the circle. And that can be a good guide um, to start with by put, just placing that um, 12 inch circle on top of the 16 inch one as center as it looks to your eye. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Just give it, you know, however it looks centered to your eye is fine. So we're going to start gluing down our petals now. Um, just add a generous amount of glue, but you want to make sure you're adding it to the side that will be face up when your flower is fully made. You're going to be gluing all of your petals, these extra large petals, in this first layer, this first ring around here that we're going around this circle. You want to glue them so that they're actually facing down because we're going to be flipping this um, whole piece over. Uh, as soon as we get this first ring down. Now the reason I'm doing it this way is because it actually makes the um, 
flower bigger if we start with the petals going underneath the flower, which is where they'll be once we flip this over. Um, and it gives us more space to work with when we flip it over and then we have um, the free poster board on the other side that we can start gluing petals to. So it'll make more sense when you see me flip it over here. But for now, just know for that first extra large layer of petals that goes around, make sure that they are facing down so that the side that you want to be facing up is actually facing down right now. And when we flip it over, it will be the right side up. Um, it's just a lot easier to glue them face down in this motion rather than trying to be sticking them underneath the poster board blindly. So it's easier to do it this way to keep them more even. So I'm just going to continue to add my petals here and then we're going to flip this whole thing in a minute and start adding some on top. All right, so I'm adding in my very last petal here in this um, layer, and um, I've used that 12 inch circle kind of as a guide to make sure things stay even the whole time. And you can kind of work with the petals a little bit too if you want to, like I am there. And now I'm just gonna flip this entire thing over so that this actually becomes the bottom of the flower. So carefully just flip your whole thing over. And it should look something like this when you get to the other side. We can see everything's um, pretty nice and even to the circle, so that worked out really well. Um, and now we're going to continue to close the circle in with um, more layers and um, petals going around. So I'm just grabbing my next bunch of petals here. Um, I'm kind of using a lot of different shades of kind of corals and peach here just to create sort of an ombre effect. Um, you can do whatever colors you like. You can use all one color, multiple colors, whatever um, you prefer. As you're kind of moving on with these next layers here, it can be helpful to kind of just play with the petals a little bit before you actually start gluing them down and kind of getting a feel for how you're going to be placing them and what depth you think they look good at. Um, everybody's flower is going to vary just a little bit, um, but you will start to now glue these petals, these next layer of petals around this inside of this um, circle here and again I'm kind of using that 12 inch circle that I haven't glued down yet to sort of guide me around to keep things kind of symmetrical and make sure that my depth is even um, for placement of all my petals as I'm going around so um, just kind of use that as a guide and then place your glue on the back side of your petal and then glue it right down there to the top of that white 16 inch poster board. Um, so we're just gonna go around again and um, I don't know exactly how many petals I used in this layer. You could probably count on the screen as I'm going here, um, but you'll probably use at least 50 or 60 extra large petals. This is an extra large petal here I'm using in this layer. Um, and you can also kind of play around with the petals once you get them glued down. You can kind of stretch them a little bit more um, to form them a little bit better to how the, they are coming together onto the circle itself. Um, it can Crepe paper can even be curled in like I'm doing right now with my hands. I'm just kind of gently curling it in to give it a little bit more um, depth so that it's standing up a little bit more. So just play around with that, get a feel for it, and go ahead and add your next uh, ring of extra large petals around the circle.
All right, so we're gonna transition here and I'm just gonna finish adding these in and I'm gonna sort of jump forward a little bit here to where I finished adding this layer of petals all the way around. Um, so that I don't bore you to death with just watching me put petals together. Here I have some tacky glue, um, and I'm going to be using this to now glue down that 12 inch foam circle that I have. Um, you're going to want to be generous with this glue, so just make sure you kind of squeeze the heck out of the bottle and um, go all the way around back and forth um, right there in that, you know, the white center that's um, showing from the poster board that we've been gluing the flower, uh, flower petals to. So just add a generous amount of tacky glue um, and go around a few times with that. And then you want to take that 12 inch circle and then of course just press it on top of that tacky glue. Now you want to make sure that you kind of press this really firmly. I'm like giving it um, a good bit of my weight here to press it down and make sure that it's making good contact with it. Um, I strongly recommend grabbing something like a heavy book to sit on top of it for at least maybe 10 to 15 minutes to give it sort of some time to set up before you start moving on to more petals here. Um, so I'm just grabbing my hard copy book, The Art of Giant Paper Flowers, which you guys might be familiar with, and I'm just setting that um, on top of my my flower here so that it has some weight to it so it will dry um, in place and it'll have a little bit of weight to it. Um, once you get done with that and you've let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes so that it's kind of started to, that glue's really started to grab on, then you can start adding your next layer of petals. And now we're going to be adding our next layer of large petals on top of that 12 inch circle. So not only is that 12 inch circle kind of acting, um, at, was acting as a guide for us when we were doing the extra large petals, but it's now acting as sort of an elevation to the center of the flower um, so that it kind of makes the flower look like it has more depth to it. Um, so I'm going around here and I'm just kind of gluing a couple petals at a time and, and just adding some glue to the, um, to the foam there and then just sticking a couple petals in at a time. Um, make sure you have plenty of glue on hand guys, like you, you'll use more hot glue than you probably think you will with these, it's just, it's a lot of petals and um, you're gonna go through it probably faster than you think. Um, so I'm just adding some glue here and sticking a couple petals on at a time and then going around. Um, and I'm just gonna do that with this next layer and um, then we'll be moving on after that. Okay, so I have that layer complete now and I'm just gonna start adding in my next layer of large petals. Um, like I said, there's no exact petal count for these layers. It's going to vary for everybody. Just add the amount in that 
makes you feel like the flower is full and um, that there's not too much space between the petals. So just make sure the petals are overlapping by about a third of the petal and you'll be good. And just let whatever petal count that is, just let that be whatever that is for you. Um, so I'm just going around here, another layer, same thing. Uh, just move around the, the petal here in a circular fashion. And um, we're gonna do this one more time around and then we're gonna um, add a few other finishing touches to it as well. Okay, so for the final um, touches of this flower, I have some um, darker coral um, crepe paper petals here, and I'm actually going around the outermost edge of my flower, and I'm filling in kind of any little gaps that I see. And um, this is where the fullness of the flower will kind of come together. Um, so just cut out enough extra petals, and of course, whatever color you want, and go around the outer edge of your flower and just place these petals where you feel like there's kind of a little extra space where you wanna see some more fullness and get those all placed. Don't glue anything yet. You wanna make sure you place these first so you can get a visual assessment of, you know, this is a good spot, this is where I want it placed um, before you start gluing it down. And then if you don't like it for some reason, um, because of the stage the flower's at, you won't be able to pull anything apart. So make sure you place them first like I'm doing here and then you can go back in and add the glue to them and stick them back in the same spot that you're placing them here. And this is really just gonna make the whole flower look a whole lot fuller. And um, in my case, it look, makes it look a lot more vibrant. Um, so this is a really great step to really make that flower more full and even a little bit bigger. And here is where I'm now just going in and adding some glue to the bottom back side of my petal. And I'm just sticking it back in the same spot that I had uh, placed it before when I was assessing where I wanted these um, petals to go. Um, so just add some glue and stick it back in there. It should grab pretty easily to the crepe paper that's already kind of in there. Just give it a little um, push down when you tuck it in and it'll be, um, it'll be secure. And so just go around and make sure you secure all those petals that you just placed.
So I'm um, getting close to the end here of um, gluing these last few petals in here. And um, you know, you can add more petals if you want to. You could even add an extra um, large ring around if you wanted to, you know, tuck some more petals um, at the very bottom there and, you know, make it even bigger. Um, you could do that as well. But this flower, for me was about 38, 40 inches, so it worked pretty well in the end. And I just grabbed um, sort of a muslin cloth and laid that in the center. You could of course put like a little cushion for baby, um, which is what I ended up doing um, when I actually took photographs of my niece. Um, this is actually not my niece, but um, I took some photographs of her and um, it, I think the flower turned out really beautiful for a newborn photo prop and I hope this tutorial was enjoyable for you guys and gave you a um, good perspective and idea of how to create your own beautiful um, newborn flower nest for um, an adorable baby in your life. You can find this free template and more crafts and tutorials on abbykirstencollections.com.